Hello friends, it's time for a new vlog and it is a reading fruits baskets for the first time vlog. This is my final one in the series. I am finishing this manga this month um, if it kills me. If I don't read any other manga this month, this is uh, gonna be the only one that I read. finishing up the series and I'm very excited. You can go ahead and watch my other videos in this series. I have three other ones, something like that. Um, so you can go ahead and go watch those. But what is in store for this week? So actually today is Sunday the 5th of December. So this is my birthday week. I know. Uh, so my birthday is on Wednesday and I actually have most of this week off. So um, I had yesterday off and I did like family things because my family was in town. And then um, I have until today's my regular weekend day along with Monday. And then I have um, Tuesday and Wednesday off. And then I go to work Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday I'm off because I wanted to hang out with friends. So uh, I just took the day off. <laughs> so today um, I actually went to go get my COVID booster. Yes, and I also got a flu shot and I got one in each arm. So like my arms They go like maybe here before it stops hurting or before it starts hurting So lifting my arms like this is very painful lifting my arms up. So I'm gonna go um, sit in bed and read first basket Okay, so it's now like 2 p.m. on Monday and um, basically the vaccine kicked my butt. <laughs> um, my arms hurt so much. My flu shot arm is much better. My COVID vaccine arm still kind of hurts a little bit but it's much less. Um, I got a fever at some point last night um, and I slept a lot. So um, I think it's gone now. I still don't feel like a hundred percent. I think I'm just like wiped out from um, everything. Uh, I can't find my thermometer, so I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I definitely feel much better. My skin does not feel like it is on fire anymore. But the good news is, is I finished volume 10 of Fruits Basket. Ah, oh, it's happening. Okay, so this volume was really good. I didn't tab as much honestly. Um, it might have been due to my like kind of lethargic um, state um, that I didn't really like tab much but um, this volume so many things happened. Um, so first off um, we've got two broken curses. Um, Momiji and um, Hiro both of their curses broke so it's happening um and you found a lot more about akito and why uh, she was raised the way she has been um lots of stuff with kyo and toru like these pages there's so many like beautiful pages with the two of them i'm very invested in this romance um and to be honest, at the end of this, when uh, Toru approached <laughs> Kyo, I was very upset. He was very mean to her. Um, but I mean, I kind of understand his position because um, he knows that his life will be over soon. <laughs> um, and so he doesn't really want her to get involved with that. Um, so I think he's kind of just like being mean um, to kind of put distance between them, um, which, I mean, I think I know how, um, this relationship ends up, but it's just painful to get there. <laughs> oh, and at the end with Kyo and Toru's mom, like, oh my god, so sad. He has so much, like, guilt, um, and pain on top of him, and he is a child, and he should not have all of this, like, guilt put upon him. Um, so hopefully he kind of grows from that um, and learns to heal, which I feel like 
he will. <laughs> um, and I think Toru is going to be a big part of that. Oh, and then like Akito like going off on off the deep end, like fucking stabbing people and stuff like that. Um, insane. This has so many beautiful pages, like when Hero's curse broke. This is this is so nice. Oh, the one thing I want to do is I got a package. Is it in here? I did not put it in here. Hold on. Yeah, so I got a package um, from Amazon. I did not order this. I got everything that I ordered. So we are going to unbox this and find out what it is. It's like, it doesn't feel like manga. It feels like a graphic novel because it's large. Possibly. Ooh, what is this? It is Sailor V, Volume 1. Is there a note? Who got this from me? Because <laughs> uh, there's nothing else in here. Because this was definitely on my wish list. Um, I didn't order it. And there's no note. So, um, I'm going to go post this on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And find out uh, where this came from. <laughs> So I have read this much of this and so much has happened. Um, like I think they implied that Kyo um, like tried to kill himself, which crazy. Um, and I don't know the guilt that he feels over Ma mom and then Toru trying to help Akito there's just like so much happening over and over again and then she falls off a fucking cliff what oh my god uh so I've actually and then the end of chapter 122 like friends so yesterday after my manga shopping my camera died um so i had to stop vlogging but today is my birthday yay so um i am going to what am i doing today um so i'm gonna go um out to eat with my boyfriend for lunch then um yeah and we're going to like my favorite like dietary restriction favorite uh friendly restaurant so that's gonna be fun um and then um I'm just gonna chill out I think I'm actually probably gonna work on some videos I will update my thoughts on first basket and my mini manga haul from shopping I'll do that after this but um yeah and then I have taekwondo class today which is why we're going out for lunch rather than dinner because I have two classes that I have to go to tonight and they end at like nine o'clock so the restaurant I want to go to is closed by then so yeah let's go Forgive my wet hair. I just got out of the shower and it's uh, after two Taekwondo classes, so I'm like exhausted. Um, and also, noise. 
is my space heater because I am freezing and I cannot turn it off. So hopefully that's not too distracting. Okay, so there's two things that we need to um, get out of the way. First off is a mini manga haul and then it is talking about volume 11 of Fruits Baskets, which I've finished. So, um, first off, manga haul. So there's some stuff I pre-ordered. So I got um, volume 33 of Yona of the Dawn. I haven't read this yet. I'm probably going to read it tonight because I'm just very invested. Um, and then I read 13, or I got and read actually volume 13 of Queen's Quality. Look at this cover. This is absolutely amazing. It's so good. Um, Ah, okay. Um, I already read this. I love it so much. I waited six months for this and so good. My boyfriend got me some manga for my birthday and originally he got me volumes one and two of A Sign of Affection and I feel so bad because when I opened it I was like, I already have these. And he was like, what? I checked your shelves and I didn't see it. And they're on the bottom so he just missed it. Um, but it's, it's okay. Um, he later in the day he gave me um volumes uh one and two of honey blood which is a like short like vampire shoujo manga um i guess these were saved for christmas <laughs> and um he gave me these so um we'll return the other two of rose and blood um which is a new series that was put out by um viz um, very thin. I feel like all of the manga lately is thin, and I think it's a supply thing, because the covers don't even feel very thick. Anyway, um, so I got volume one of Rose and Blood, um, and then I got volumes, um, two and three of Yakuza Lover. I don't think I'm going to show the cover for, um, Yakuza Lover three, because it's, um, um, then I got volumes two and three of Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. Finally, I got Paradise Kiss. Oh. So let us talk about volume 11. Oh my god. Okay, so this feels like it's like the climax of uh, the series. Uh, the only pr problem that we have left to deal with, I think, is this bitch right here. First off... It just starts, it just goes, goes, goes um, in the beginning. So like the first bunch of this is just like, go, 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 uh, terrible, 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 situation wise, not like content wise, you know. That was a lot um, and there were a lot of feelings there. Um, so yeah, and then the other big thing in here is that just like the curse breaks because I think Akito kind of comes to terms with um the fact that she doesn't need to be like special or god or something like that so i feel like akito is the one who is like slowly like breaking the curse for the other ones um and then finally once she comes to realize um is kind of like working through her own sort of trauma um the curse just breaks completely which um is crazy <laughs> Um, so I'm very happy for all of the Zodiac members that they are not dealing with that anymore. Liked the story about like the original, like the way the, the curse started or um, kind of the original banquet um, where God was just like, I want to have my animal friends over and I just want to be with them forever. And it was supposed to be like a bunch of friends coming back um, together again and then eventually it got like warped into a curse. Um, and I like that it's kind of come full circle, it seems like, um, where Akito is working through it so that she can, I guess, be with the other Zodiac members as friends rather than um, them being like enslaved, but not really to um, her. So that was really good. Um, and then we have a bunch of love confessions. We have um, Yuki and Machi. And then, of course, Kyo and Toru. Uh, finally. Um, so, and then just like the way that like they find out that the curse is broken. Like, oh, so good. And Yuki does it the same way too. 
amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, uh, I have one more volume left and um, I am going to try to start it tonight because um, I have to go back to work tomorrow and um, if I don't start it, then um, it's gonna be harder for me to start it when I don't have like infinite time. I look terrible. Oh my God, it's also so dark too. Um, so the moment is here, volume 12. Also, um, like half of this is like extra content. Like this whole second half of this manga is just like extra content. So I only have like this much. So maybe I'll finish this earlier than I thought. Ah. <laughs> to read the final chapter of Fruits Basket. Ah! Uh, I feel like most everything is like solved and this is gonna like wrap up everything, but um, I can't believe this moment is here. So let's go ahead and read the final chapter. Ooh. I was thinking I wasn't gonna like get emotional or cry but um, when Yuki is like thanking Toru for everything she's done for him um, I started to tear up a little bit um, so yeah I, I finally finally finished Fruits Basket um, that was really really good and I'm very glad that I went on this little journey that took me way too long to finish reading this manga. Now I guess I have to watch the anime. Um, so yeah, there's, there's so much, um, like, I don't know, this was so good and um, I kind of hate my younger self for really having such like prejudices against this manga for like no apparent reason um and i wish i had would have read this manga when i was younger um when it was first coming out in the u.s because um i feel like i would have really benefited <laughs> from reading this um but i'm glad i read it now um i can understand why it's so popular and why so many people love it so much my initial thoughts on like Fruits Basket was that it was like a kind of quirky shoujo love triangle type thing um, with fantastical elements to it um, and I didn't really know where the story was gonna go from there but it turned out to be a like deeply moving um, really dramatic um, and important story, um, so 
and it's not it was not even a love triangle like there was no competition anywhere um so yeah that is fruits basket i don't know how i i feel like i need to do one more video where i kind of um go through all of my favorite moments and kind of my thoughts on the whole the series as a whole i feel like this video is way too long already to do that um so i will collect my thoughts um and um kind of do a whole series type of um review but this is very good and i am um really happy that i read it